The temperatures are rising. Mm -hmm. That means more and more families are going to be spending time on and in the water, but there are also some pretty serious dangers out there. Drowning is the second leading cause of death for children in the U.S. Yeah, and USA's Swimming Foundation is hoping to change that with a new program. And joining us this morning is our local Olympic <gasps> champ, Simone Manuel. Good morning. Good morning. I got to touch so you because nice. it's like good, good luck. <laughs> you got the Midas touch, girl. Yes. Oh Thanks for gosh. coming in. Yeah, tell us about this. Make a splash. What's going on? It's super exciting um, being a part of the Make a Splash um, tour and they are giving a million swim lessons to children and swimming is a life-saving skill and it is very important so I'm really excited to be here and kind of share my swimming skills with children and make a difference. So you're actually going to be helping kids learn to swim? Yes, I am. <laughs> How excited are you about that? I'm super excited. Um, formal swim lessons reduce the drowning rate by 88%, and children's parents who don't know how to swim have a 30% chance of uh, drowning. So it's really important to get swimming lessons. Well, I noticed this with my, with my little nephew because his dad wasn't very comfortable in the pool. Yeah. So it took a lot of extra effort by other family members to get him excited and feel safe and comfortable in the water. There is a challenge there. There definitely is a challenge. And um, I think it starts with getting comfortable around the water and getting those formal swim lessons because uh, there's no such thing as being safe around the water, but you can be safer. Mm. Sure, how can families get involved in this? initiative? Just uh, sign up at USASwimmingFoundation.org. I mean, there's so many resources out there and this is one of the biggest ones and we really want to use our talents to give swim lessons to children. I love it. I mean, you guys do so much with just competing and competing and this is really all about safety, saving lives and being part of the community. It's a little different from your other mission usually in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. I think that um, some of the successes of my swimming have brought people into the sport of swimming and have kind of got, gotten them to realize that swimming is important. And um, after winning my gold medal, I've gotten tweets about, hey, I put my children in swim lessons. So Thank it's you. a little bit different, but I think that um, the performance that I had has, has an impact and I wanna continue to um, change lives, I mean save lives, <laughs> and change and that change. trend. Oh, and yeah, change absolutely. Lives. Mm -hmm. What about age real quick? Is there, a, is there a young age that's too young for a kid to start swimming lessons? I don't think so. Most definitely not. Um, just um, being around the water is very important and being comfortable around the water is very important. So there's no age that's too early. And I know you, a lot of people know for what she did, of course, in Rio at the Olympics. So you've been killing it at Stanford, still shattering <laughs> records. I mean, you, you've not been resting on your laurels at all. Can we talk Tokyo? Too soon? Already on it? Uh, it's a four-year plan, so it's definitely something that I'm shooting for. You're going to get there. Yes. <laughs> so you are just a beast in the water. Love we love watching you. And so congratulations awesome. on all you. your success. Thank you. Thank you. And for being part of this very, very important program. Of course, we have more information mm -hmm. about the Make a Splash initiative on click2houston.com. So you can check it out there. Britta? Uh, awesome stuff. Uh,